welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do something just a little simple, but something that's honestly really fun for me to talk about. I'm going to talk about what's in my crochet bag. And um, this bag is not originally meant to hold craft supplies. This actually is a small little bag that came with a lunchbox that I got years ago from my mom. My mom bought me a lunchbox and it came with this little pouch. I'm not quite sure what this pouch is supposed to be used for. Maybe just like... Um, hold silverware and odds and ends, I guess, that you don't want mushed against your food. But I never use it, but I figured, hey, it'd be a good thing to just carry around some um, crafty supplies around with me. And it's actually proven to be very useful, especially if I'm, you know, working on stuff up here in my room and I want to just grab a project, head downstairs to the couch and work down there or anywhere, really. It allows a lot of my projects, specifically my crochet projects, to be very, very portable. So I figured I'd go over what I have in here. So, um, the bag itself, yeah, as you can see, it's about this size. It's not too big. It's just got one zip right at the top. It's got a little tab here. Um, it's very sturdy. It's literally lunchbox material, so it's very, like, slick, easy to wipe off if things get on it. But, yeah, let's go ahead and look and see what we have in here. The first thing in the bag that's the easiest to grab and pull out are my scissors. Now, these are my kind of multi-purpose scissors. I use this for all of my yarn. Um, paper, really they're Fisker uh, left-handed scissors. I have another pair of left-handed scissors that are specifically for fabric. So they're, um, they're a pair I got on Amazon. They have like the cool like oil spill kind of design on the blades themselves. But this is my trusty multi-purpose pair of scissors. So this is the first thing I need in my bag. The second definite necessity is this little box. <laughs> this is a little box of, you know, how do I put this? I guess there's stitch markers. A lot of stitch markers, there's these little, um, you can kind of see these little caps. Those are for the ends of knitting needles to make sure your stitches don't slip off. I could open it actually show you. But as you can see, there's all different colors of stitch markers and knitting needle caps. And also kind of hidden in here, if I can get it out, I've got my metal um, yarn needle. I love this thing. Um, I have been through several yarn needles because I keep losing them, but this one I keep in this little box to make sure I don't lose it. So I got this whole thing on Wish, actually, a few years ago. I was really into Wish.com, and I've since deleted the app because I don't need that temptation anymore. But I found a lot of good um, crafting things for very, very cheap. So this was very cheap. It just took a few weeks to get to me. But yeah, just a little set of stitch markers and needle caps and then metal yarn needle. Okay, next thing, this little red tape measure. I don't remember where I got this. Um, I think it might have been gifted to me from a friend I used to work with because she gave me a lot of sewing supplies. I think this might be it. So it's just a portable little tape measure with a little button to bring it back in. And one thing I noticed, after using it a good bit and realizing I was kind of dumb, is the zero is not the end of the plastic here. It's not the end of the holder. It's on the measuring tape. So I, I realized I was doing a lot of measurements wrong, um, which explains some things. <laughs> but anyway, it's got inches on one side, centimeters on the other. Good little tape measure. Easily portable. Great to have on hand. Okay, now I've got my pom-pom makers. I use these to make the pom-poms for the tops of the beanies that I make. I got these, I think at Michael's or Joann's, I believe. They're by Clover brand, but I really, really like them. I was making pom-poms like by wrapping them around my hand a lot and that just wasn't even, it didn't, it wasn't even, it didn't look very nice, but these make my pom-poms look very, very nice and very professional, which I appreciate. So I have the big one and then the smaller one that has since fallen on the floor. I'll grab it later. <laughs> Next, an assortment of crochet hooks. I've got a fair few here. Um, I think I've got anything ranging in size kind of from like a 3.5 millimeter up through an 8 millimeter. So kind of like the basic sizes you need all by the same brand. Uh, I don't know what it is, um, but it's these. They're kind of like the ergonomic ones with the kind of like silicone rubber handles. So they're very comfortable to use. I really like them. They're kind of my favorites. I'm missing a 4 millimeter because <laughs> every time I go to the store looking for this specific brand, they're out of the four millimeter. So I need to go back to Michael's and Joann's and just keep looking. One of these days I'll find it. But yeah, an assortment of crochet hooks. Very important when, you know, crocheting. Now we're kind of getting to the odds and ends at the bottom of the bag. So next I've got a pen. Um, 
I like to jot things down in a notebook while I'm working. So for right now, actually, I'm patterning out um, the different sizes for the cardigans and things like that for the shop that I'm using all of that yarn for. But I need to write down all these pattern sizes and or the sizes and the patterns for those sizes. So a pen to jot things down in my notebook is very, very handy. I've got a spool of thread. Um, unclear why. I guess for sewing on buttons onto crochet items, but I actually don't really need this in this bag. So actually this is probably gonna go be put away with my sewing stuff because I don't need this in my crochet bag. Okay, there's a reason my thimble is in here though. So I have gone through like three leather thimbles. I love my leather thimbles. I use them for all of my hand sewing or I tear up my poor finger. The reason it's in my crochet bag is because I tend to put it places that I can't find it. But if I know it's always in the little pouch, then I know it's always in the little pouch and I won't lose like my third thimble. And I love my leather thimble. So another thing that doesn't really go with crocheting, but it's in there. We've got a plastic yarn needle. That's neat. So I guess I didn't lose this one. But it's just green, just a little plastic one. You know, very simple. But yeah, another one just in case, you know, I lose the first one. What I might actually do, I'm going to put it in this little box with the other one just so it's not floating around at the bottom. So there we go. And then last little thing, um, these have nothing to do with crocheting at all, but they're my little purple dice. Uh, as an explanation, Brady and I went to Branson a few weekends ago. Uh, we went last year as well, but this year we just went and we went into this little um, comic book shop and they had like one of the, uh, essentially a fishbowl full of dice. And it's mainly for people to play, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, but Brady and I don't play that as of right now, but we wanted some dice. And I saw this pair of purple dice and I was like, oh, Brady, wouldn't it be kind of cute if I had a pair of purple dice? And he like scooped them out. And so now I have a pair of purple dice that I don't have any use for. But every time I look at them in my little crochet bag, it reminds me of that trip and how much fun we had. So purple dice. <laughs> and that is now an empty crochet bag. Um, Everything I have in here, really, except for the thread, is really essential. So, yeah, I love how simplistic the tool set is for crocheting. Like, really, you, to boil it down, you really only need a crochet hook, yarn, and scissors. Really. Um, you could do everything, really, all the basics with that. But having extras like um, a pom-pom maker or, you know, a little tape measure... Those are just things that help make it easier and help you do other things. And things like stitch markers and needles, all good things to have on hand. And I love having a little pouch to do that with. And I might one of these days like switch out the pouch for another one. My sister-in-law gave me a lot of Ipsy bags that she had on hand. So maybe one of these days these things will be swapped over. But I just, I don't know, I kind of like the lunchbox bag because it holds up well to my scissors. It's made very well. It's really strong and sturdy. And if it gets torn up, I don't really care. So yeah, that was just kind of a look inside what's in my crochet bag. I'm really curious. Um, if you want to share, please feel free in the comments to tell me what are some essentials that you have in your crochet bag or if you have a crochet bag. And if you have little odds and ends like me, like um, dice, like little things that don't have to do with crafting, but you have them on hand anyway, I want to know about them. So Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this was just a fun little insight into what I do with my crocheting and the tools that I use for it. But please, if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. You know how to do that. And then let's see. Yeah, I should have another video out next week. Keep an eye out for a big relaunch date announcement for my shop because I'm going to have a lot of new um, products relaunching or launching for the first time. So keep in mind, you are beautiful inside and out and don't let anybody especially yourself tell you any different okay bye bye